Now we are going to see multiplication and division combined together. So three groups of two each and six in all. Three into six. See how many groups? This is one group, and this is second group. This is a third group. Okay. So in each group, two candles are there. One candle, two candle, one candle, two candle, one candle, two candle. So first group two candles, second group two candle, and third group also two candle. So that is how many groups? Three groups. In each group, how many candles? Two candles. So three into two, you can get six. So total number of candles is what? Six. It is total number of candles. That is six. Okay. Now six put into equal group of two each gives three groups. That is six put into equal group of two. That is six what? Six candles. Total number of candles is six. And into equal group of two each. How many groups? Two, three groups. So six total number of candle is six. So now we arrange two two candles in each group. Now how many groups? You can get three groups. So six put into equal group of two each gives three groups. That is what I said. So that means total number of candle is six. So so we have arranged two two candles in each group. Now how many groups are there? That is three groups. That is what. Six is divided by two. You can get what three groups. Again, I'll repeat. Three groups of two each in six in all. Three into six. That is how many groups? I I've segregated into or divided into. That is three groups. Then each group. How many candles in each group? Two two candles. So first group two candles. Second group two candles. And third group two candles. Generally, we divide into three groups. In each group, we have two two candles. We arrange. So that is for three group into. Two candles in each group. You can get total number of candles is six. That is multiplication. That means total group is three. In each group, how many candles? Two candles. So three into two. How many candles? That is six candles. You can get six candles. That is called as multiplication. Okay. Next. So six put into equal group of two each. That is total number of candles is six. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, six candles. And six six candles six put into equal groups of two, each gives three groups. That is, in each group two two candles we arrange total number of candles we arranged in each group two two candles. That is what six candles in each group two candles. We can get how many groups? That is three groups. That is division. Okay, that is what. So now see look listen. Uh, that means many candles are given. We have to find out. So we have to find out how many groups. That is total number of candle in each group. Two candles. We can get three groups here. Three groups. One group. Two candles. That means two groups. Sorry, three groups. That is what three into two six. I'll repeat one second for multiplication. That is in each group two candles. Total group one and one group. That is each group means one group. One group two candles. Number of groups is three. So three into two. That is. Each group two candles. Number of groups is three. So three into two. Total number of candles is six. So one is given and asked many. That is multiplication. Here total number of candles is given six candles. So we are divided into in each group two two candles. We can get how many? How many group means three groups. Six candles. Total number of candles in each group two candles. So we have to find out how many groups. That is six divided by two. We can get what? Three groups. That is what division. So fill in the blanks. Eight into four, thirty-two, as given already. So you must say the eighth table or fourth table, which is convenient for you. You can do that. This is exercise. Exercise Roman number one. Fill in the blanks. So eight into four. That is what? Eight ones are eight. Eight twos are. I know eight table and fourth table. So because children, you know that. I think so. You are most familiar in fourth table. Better you can say fourth table also. It is not an issue. So eight into four. So eight ones are eight, eight twos are sixteen, eight threes are twenty-four, and eight fours are thirty-two. Or else you must say fourth table. So four ones are four, four twos are eight. Like that. Likewise, you can say so eight into four, you can get thirty-two. Then thirty-two is going to divide by four. So what is the number? Thirty-two is going to divide by four. Simply you can write because eight into four thirty-two. So this thirty-two is divided by four means you can get eight. So if you want to know whether it is right or wrong, so you just check it. So thirty-two is going to divide it by four. You must say the fourth table. So four ones are four, four twos are eight, four threes are twelve, four fours are sixteen, 
4 5 is a 20 and 4 6 is a 24 4 7 is a 28 and 4 8 is a 32 so quotient is what 8 so 32 minus 32 you can get what 0 32 minus 32 you can get 0 so this is a quotient and this is a reminder so in this division you know the answer is 8 is a quotient now 7 into 6 42 has given very clearly then 42 divided by 6 this is multiplication and then it is division so multiplication and division is adding multiplication they given the answer two numbers that is what is this factors and product so very clearly 8 into 4 32 then you have to find out the division 32 is divided by 4 you can get 8 here 7 into 6 42 then 42 is divided by 6 you must know the answer very 42 is divided by 6 you know that very well the answer is 7 if you want to find out whether the answer is right or wrong you must check it once again 42 is divided by 6 so you must say the sixth table so again 6 ones are 6 6 twos are what 12 6 threes are 18 6 fours are 24 6 fives are 30 6 six are 36 6 sevens are 42 so you must write 7 so 42 minus 42 you know that very well this is 0 reminder is 0 and quotient is what 7 so 7 into 6 42 so that 42 is going to divide by 6 you know that very well the answer is 7 and also if we just do the check method also the answer is 7 for this first question the first question the answer is 32 is divided by 4 that is 8 into 4 32 then 32 32 is divided by 4 you can get 8 is the answer first question is over second question 7 into 6 42 is given then you have to find out 7 into 6 42 this is multiplication is given then you have to find out the division so 42 divided by 6 that means 42 is divided by 6 you know that variable the answer is 7 and also we know the check method also we have done it i think so you understand the concept well